Hello everyone. I know this spot where there's about 30 to 1 ratio. So we're talking about gold rings, some 18 carat, but mostly 9 carat. They're very, very old. Now they're all stuck in mud. They're very hard to retrieve, but that's why we're modifying these two shovels. Actually, this is a plastic scoop that Darren made out of PVC plastic. Works very well. We've already tested it. It's very easy to use. We got a target, but um, check this out, our, our velvet straights. Love it because you can wave your detector over it, so it's really good. Look at it just dug out of the hole. Don't know what it is yet, so you guys have got to see it with us. Oh, lovely. It's a nice earring. Give that to you, wash it up. Cool. That's a nice little find. Love liking this. Like liking it. What is it? Oh, I wonder if it's diamonds or if it's fake. No, that's 24 karat gold, eh? No. Oh, hang on. 375 gold mark. Wow, yeah, that's pretty. It's got stamps all over it. 9 karat gold mark. Cool. That's pretty. That's very encouraging using the new scoop. First thing to dig up. Awesome, awesome. And I'm modifying my shovel. So it works a bit more like a sieve, but it still maintains its structural integrity. It's pretty strong, in other words. We're going to see which one works the best. Now, I've modified the metal detector to be super sensitive. So I'll give you a look at that in a second. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll take it out there in the field and we'll give it a shot and uh, see how many gold rings we can find. Okay, just to show you what I mean, we have modified this circuit to work specially underwater be specially sensitive to gold rings that simply just goes on the back there it's waterproof got a GoPro camera I might actually put the GoPro camera on the shovel this time that's the charger lithium mine batteries nothing but the best One of the best places to find lost items is under a boardwalk or bridge where people walk and even hold ceremonies. However, there can be a bonanza of unexpected items which can keep you busy in the same spot, but there is not usually a high number of really valuable items like 18 karat gold or platinum and diamond rings which often give off big signals because of their closed loop design. Lost items here either fall between the cracks. A lot of people hold their weddings on little bridges, nice little places like that and they drop the rings straight in the water. Or drop straight so into the water and most the people think there is no chance of retrieving them. That's a water dragon. I wonder if he's going to go in the water. Yep. And on some bridges that connect an island to the mainland, I think there is a theory that people throw their rings into the water because they wash up in certain pockets along the banks. Even the white sand is worth checking. Just have a look at that white sand just there. You can have a bonanza of a time underneath piers because there's heaps of stuff but you can spend a lot of time digging up coins. So let's go and have a look, see what we can find. If you go there on a very low tide, you can expect to find a concentration of coins. After a while it becomes easy to hear the difference that coins make over other items lost. On the surf beaches, however, gold items can sink more than 100mm on every tide, so time is of the essence if you're going to see your lost jewellery again. But if there's any water rips or after heavy storms, sometimes many gold items can turn up very close to the surface. Last time we were here, we got two rings right there. Okay, as you can see, the beach conditions are perfect. 
Yeah, yeah it looks like a nice low spot. Yeah. It's like a fantastic low spot. All the heavier items are coming to the surface. Yep. And right about here, look what I found. What have you got there? Nice 18 hey. carat diamond ring. I don't know. Are they got diamonds in it? Yeah. Looks like it's got a palladium setting. Very well done. Very bright. Okay. Well done, look at that. Beautiful, well done. Yeah, well, that's, just, work. that's the conditions you ought to look for. When they're like that, it's when all the heavier items surface. You can see the holes the other guy the detector's making, he's not yeah. filling them up very good. Not every hold is, is gold, but uh, you get a good chance. Anyway, that's my tip for the day. All right, very good, awesome. That bridge has been here a long time. Now this is a calm water passage, a lot of stuff moves downstream and gets trapped. All along this water edge here are 18 carat rings in very good condition, they don't corrode. And we've got deep holes, some shallow holes, where a lot of the 9 carat rings... Have... Go record him! Yippee! About time! I'm coming over! Good! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's antique that one. But for some reason, platinum rings are found up amongst the concrete there. So we're going to be getting in the water with an underwater detector. I don't want to use the whites because the whites, the loop will get water in it and that's the end of it. This is a special waterproof detector I made. That's why I'm using the bucket to separate it all. I should have tied a string between me and the bucket because it keeps drifting off. But uh, I'll just keep working and we'll see what we get. There's another one here. It's getting pretty hard to see down here. Very, very muddy. I've got about 20 signals in there so far. I don't know what's there. I'm digging everything. There's probably a lot of bottle tops and everything in there. It could be some coins. Hopefully we'll get a ring or two. But usually the 18 carat rings are a little bit closer to the shoreline. I know there's a lot of 9 carat rings here. Heaps have been found before. They appear in little pockets. Little mud holes stuck. So hopefully we'll get another one today. Been going at it for a couple of hours now. Let's have a look. Right, I'm going to bring it on the shoreline. See what we got. Well, look, I can see something shiny. Jackpot. <laughs> Oh, you little beauty. Hang on, hang on. Could be sucked in. Might not be the right thing. Hang on. I can get it out. Hang on. Watch, watch this. I don't know if this is, but that looks like an 18 carat ring, maybe, with a diamond. Holy shit. You little beauty. That's not often you find diamond rings here. Mainly you find solid 18 carat rings nothing with a diamond and that's 18 carat too you know how i know because it's still shiny all the nine carat stuff is really really deteriorated 
I wonder if we got any more. Check it out. I'm gonna put this in my pocket. Coin. Coins. What coins? Come on. Hey! A nine carat! We got a nine carat ring. Okay, let's see what else we got. I'll put all the stuff here. I don't want the bottle tops. Good, it's a 50. Five. More bottle tops. This is going to sieve this stuff out a bit better. Right, keep an eye on that. We've got another one. That's probably silver or nine carat. Probably silver. So what we got? We got one 18 carat, one silver, one nine carat, a few coins, a lot of bottle tops. I know we had a lot of little sinkers, but they all fell through the holes. So that's only designed just to catch the rings. The small rings can't get through that, but the little sinkers can get through. Five cent pieces can't get through. So I'm really happy with that. That's pretty good going. That's a nice fat diamond on that. So, paid off guys. Today paid off. All that hard work, about four or five hours hard work, has paid off with a beautiful, that's probably a platinum setting in that too. And a diamond ring. Good stuff. 